yourself a runner. Virginia, what? Twister just gave birth. I can see that. Dad? Twister's... Well, she... Next time that you have one of your premonitions or feelings or whatever it involves you running out into a thunderstorm at 4 o'clock in the morning, you are going to be camping out in your room for a month. Lit up pretty good here last night. Yeah, it was uh, it was a rumble, all right. Sorry about the mare. Ah, she was getting on in years. Hard to believe she waited so long to give me a foal. Appreciate you two taking charge. Thirty-two hands on the payroll, all with their heads up their butts. Pardon the French, Virginia. You're pardoned. There you go. What's this, Blake? It's for a newborn's immune system. Yeah. I know what colostrum is. It's for the foal. He thinks Virginia's his mama. Yeah, I, I, I just don't want Blake, to... Blake, we simply have to get a move on. The race starts in less than an hour. 
I have to register the contestants, brief the vets, review the ground rules, confirm... Don't get your undies in a bundle there, Crane. No race in this county is going to start without me. All uh, right. Well, got to go. Virginia, think you can come up with a name for that bull? Sure. Why don't you two join us in town for the finish? We're going to have one big celebration. Cross your fingers for Daryl! Cross your fingers and hope he gets lost. Virginia. What? Daryl's a jerk. Everyone knows it. Except Caroline. And where do you think you're going? To feed the foal. Who else is going to do it? One of Blake's hands. Impossible. They all have their heads up their butts. Virginia. I don't want you to go near that horse. It's a foal, Dad. Foal, horse, whatever. Grouchy, dopey. Sorry, just brainstorming. Storming. Storm. Stormy. That's it, stormy. You like that, don't you? Thought so. You got away with horses, Virginia. I'm here in my capacity as Grand Marshal. And how do you think you've got that job, Huntington? County elections? Right. Darrell, you're working them too hard. You're not at the halfway mark yet. I know the game plan, Dad. Then follow it. Wait till the final stretch. Then you could run this nag into the ground if you have to. Understood? Jeez, oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 Hurry up. Ah. Huntington. What the hell are you doing? The, the requisite physical overview. I'm checking for lameness, mucous membranes, back withers, attitude, muscle and anal tone according to the checklist. Just take his pulse and get him back on the road. Right. Anal tone.
my dad might be watching. So what? I'm already an hour late. I'm sorry. What are you looking at? Not much. You're putting me to sleep. Oh, yeah? Maybe this will wake you up. Looks kind of small. We got a bigger one for a Sal Susie at the state fair. Then saddle her up. We'll have a go at it. Oh, wait. Didn't you guys eat her? You know, I could whip your butt. Just let me know when your daddy lets you back on a horsey. I'll be waiting. Happy trails. my pig trophy if it'll make you feel any better, Daro. Virginia, you have a gift. It's from Mom's recipe box. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. I just don't feel like right now, Dad. But you always like lemon meringue pie. I'm kind of full. She just wants to keep her girlish figure for Darrow. Oh, yeah, well, uh, speaking of Darrow, in my opinion, he drives a little bit too fast, and you can tell him that if he doesn't slow down, you won't be going anywhere with him, OK? And while we're on the subject, isn't that skirt a little bit too short? <laughs> what, for lobster town? What about your jeans? Jeans? You used to criticize me for wearing them too much. Just the ones with the holes in the butt. That's it. I'm finished. Uh, what did I say now? Teenagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how are the lobsters running, Dad? Lobsters don't run. They crawl. Oh. Well, do you need any help on the boat? Okay. What is it? Out with it. Well, I want to start riding again. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream with your pie? Answer still no. Used. Yep. Hey, 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 hey. Give me patience. Sometimes I can't help myself. Things just pop out. You're the bratty little sister. That's your role in the family unit. I think you have a nice figure. I hope I look like you one day. <sighs> That'll come sooner than you think. Don't push it. Why do you like Darrow? He's such a jerk. If he's such a jerk, then why hasn't he told Dad about you feeding the foal? Well, he wouldn't do that. Would he? Why do you even want to ride after what happened to Mum? 
I am glad Dad sold Twister to Blake. I hate that horse. It wasn't Twister's fault. Mom told us that at the hospital. I know that now. And I knew that then. <laughs> I just couldn't understand it. <laughs> I still don't understand it. Twister came through again. Best heart and lungs on any horse you could ever find. Our third Memorial Day victory in a row. Blake offered to buy her again. Ford told him he'd have to start looking for another wife. A wise man. I'm thinking we should have another baby. Haven't decided whether I should let Ford in on the scheme yet. Our surprise package arrived last night at 2.42 a.m four days apart from Caroline. They told me the second one was always easier. They lied. 14 hours in labor and she came out kicking and screaming. I think she's gonna be a force of nature. Come here, boy. 
You all right? Easy boy. Get Come off me. You have that horse shot. Well, this is a western fit. Does he look like a barrel horse to you? You might as well have used barbed wire. You're right. He doesn't look like a barrel horse. He looks like a dead horse. It's all right. No one's gonna hurt you. Ah, the, uh, the bottlenose deer fly, they're the worst. Excuse me? Yeah, wide splatter pattern and, uh, very sticky. Oh, you got a, uh, you got a purple-winged, uh, kumquat there. Uh, actually, I've got something that, uh, for that, hold on. by wing frog hopper. You can always uh, borrow this if you want. I mean, just in case no you offense. ever uh, run right. into a yellow-nosed... Needle pointer. So where are you headed? Here. I'm training for Blake Rains first oh. week. Well, it'll keep you busy. That's what I like. Jesse Eastwood. Fort Lofton, nice to meet you. Thank you. Well, I suppose we'll be um, bumping into each other again. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty small town. Everybody uh, kind of knows everybody else. See ya. Take care. Oh, don't worry, I didn't shoot him. Where is he? Sold him. Some sucker upstate. Just thought you might want to know. Have a nice day. Mom was really good at this Easter egg making. <laughs> Dad, a tiny hole's a lot better. Oh. And you have to be patient. Oh. Is that your outfit? Oh, no, Dad. I just came downstairs to help you with eggs, and then I'm going back up to change. <laughs> What's wrong with your sister, by the way? Uh, Daryl's dad sold Stormy. Who stole me? Twister's Colt? <laughs> Come on, she's been acting like it was hers ever since she delivered him. What do you mean she's been acting like it's hers since she delivered him? Well, um... <laughs> it's... 
Well, then what? <laughs> well, it's actually kind of funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> I gotta go. Splendid day to be painting your eggs, huh? I heard about the horse. He was my horse. In no, Virginia, it was Blake's horse. He would have died if I hadn't been there. Well, you don't know that. They never should have sold him. He should have stayed here with me. <laughs> Mom never would have let this happen. Virginia. I told you to stay away from the horse. You don't think I did that to punish you, do you? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> I, I miss her so much. But she's not coming back, Virginia. <laughs> but we can keep her here. In our hearts. That way she'll never be gone. Don't you feel her in your heart? <laughs> Hello? Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm Ford Lofton. Remember we met the other day? The entomologist. <laughs> uh, I was hoping, uh, I was hoping you'd have a few moments. Sure. What's on your mind? Well, I was, uh, I was wondering if, um, if maybe you needed some extra help around the stables over the next couple of months, setting up fences, looking after tack, that sort of thing. I figured you for the type who already had a job. <laughs> It's not for me, it's, uh, it's for my daughter, actually, Virginia. Does she write? No, but, uh, she, uh, she knows her way around horses pretty well. Well, I could probably use the help, but it's not really my call. You'll have to speak to Mr. Reigns. Oh, I've already spoken to him, but he said that it was up to you. She's a great kid, she really is. She, uh, she practically runs the household. See, she lost her mom about three years ago, so uh, she's the one who's had to take up most of the slack. I'm sorry. Thanks. It's, uh, it's something you, uh, you learn to deal with. Send her over. Great. I'll have her here this afternoon. Hi. I, uh, I appreciate this. Thank you. She'll be so excited. Let me down! Let me down right now! Oh, not me as a daughter who doesn't talk, who doesn't smile, and who feels sorry for herself what? 24 hours a day. It's my life! I can do whatever I want with... Who's she, Dad? My name's Jesse Eastwood. She's very nice. I'm sure she's delightful. Okay, out you get. She's expecting you. What? Is it gonna be the fireman's carry again? Get.
little short. She's not getting under her back end. You're gonna have to teach her to overstride. Oh. You Virginia Lofton? Yeah. Your dad didn't tell me you were a know-it-all. Just trying to point out a few particulars so that the horse moves better. Do you know how to saddle one up? Do I look like I was born yesterday? No, I'll tell you that in about 30 minutes. Take Princess in the barn. Grab a couple of helmets. We've already met. When? A couple of nights ago. You and your horse nearly landed on top of my car. Hmm. My dad sold Twister to Mr. Rains after Mom's accident. I guess he just didn't want her around to remind him. He told me he never wanted to see me on a horse again. It's been almost three years. So you ride at night? Stormy was my horse. Even though he didn't belong to me, I know that's how he felt, too. So what do we do now? What you do is clean out the stables. J and a beer, you're missing out on some of the major food groups there, Dad. Mm -hmm. So, um, how does toasted burrito sound? I think we got all the fixings. Mm -hmm. Yep, here we are. So how did work go today? What'd you do? Stuff around the barn, stable, cleaned up, oiled some tack. That it? That's about it. You didn't by any chance happen to do any riding, did you? I saw you, Virginia. I ride because I love it. And it reminds me of Mom. What's wrong with that? Look, I know she's not coming back. I know that. No, 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 this is, uh, this is fine. Good.
being down some farmer's driveway in the backseat of your car doesn't thrill me. You know what? Just drop it, okay? <laughs> Dara, what are you doing? Let me out of the car. Use the door if you Poor little Darrow didn't get any tonight. Is that the problem? <laughs> tonight? What the hell's so different about tonight? Darrow, take off your glasses! Hey, what are you doing? Stop it! Get off me! You're not gonna be able to see the road! Mr. Lofton, what is she? She okay? She took a pretty good poke in the nose, but it's a clean break. It should heal without any disfigurement. I've got her on Demerol. I want to keep her overnight. You sure that's it? She's going to be fine, Mr. Lofton. She's in a light sleep. Oh. Kramer got hit in the nose with a baseball? Yeah. He looked awful at first. He still looks terrible. Oh. Um, has Darrow called yet? Uh, I'm not sure. I... I don't think so. Oh, okay. Hello? 
Hey, have you got a minute? Uh, well, you got three options. You could, uh, number three, ask me to leave. Number two, we could talk on the porch. Or, um, you could invite me in. Hmm. Need to everything. How's Caroline? She's good. Darrow's a bit of a handful. More of a shovelful, I'd say. <laughs> They're up there together. I'm gonna keep my distance. They're getting along. She's a good kid, you know. <laughs> you should let her ride, Ford. That's between me and her. It's also between her and her life and her and her spirit. That's what she's got left over to wrestle with once you've made your decision. You know, I'd quite understand if you wanted to exercise option number three and ask me to leave. I won't be offended. You know, I lost my dad when I was nine. I was raised by my mother and three sisters, and uh, I've spent almost my entire life surrounded by headstrong women. An opinion or two doesn't bother me. Do you have any sugar? So, uh, thanks for helping me with the, uh... I enjoyed it. I like Easter. That's not exactly what I meant, so... I know. Speaks. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I've got to go to Waterton today on business. So, uh, I'll be away for the night. For the night? Uh-huh. But I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, we're celebrating our birthdays tomorrow? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I realize that, but, um, I'll be back in the morning. You got my cell phone number just in case there's any problems, okay? Hey, girls, show some fortitude. You've been left on your own before. I'm sure you can handle it. See you in the morning. It's been so long since you played. <sighs> yeah, I guess it, um, I guess it reminds me of Mum. Why don't we open our presents to one another? With our daddy? He went on that stupid business trip, didn't he? 
Yeah. Where is it? Virginia? Yeah. Oh. Found it. You first. Okay. <sighs> Oh, Virginia, it's, um, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? It matches your eyes. I mean, well, not right now, but, well, <laughs> oh, jeez. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Caroline. It's just like mom's. I know. I have a confession. Yeah? I've read mom's diary. I know. So have I. You have? It's under your mattress. <laughs> Turn to March 5th, 1991. I took Caroline to the stables today again and tried to get her on Misty. <laughs> she bawled her eyes out. She wanted no part of that horse. <laughs> I was disappointed at first, but it made me take a hard look at myself and admit that I was doing it more for me than for her. I wanted another rider in the family so much. But I wasn't thinking about her needs. Even though they seem sort of undeveloped, <laughs> kids have their own outlook on life. And you can interfere with them up to a point, and you have to back off. I really don't care now if Caroline ever gets on a horse or not. She's gonna find out what interests her, and she's gonna become her own person. She and Virginia have brought so much joy into my life. So much more than I ever thought a God given gift possible. And I have to pinch myself each day just to make sure it's real. <laughs> you memorized it. I was so afraid that it would get lost someday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Well, quit bawling, take him out for a spin. Go. <laughs> Dad got me a pearl. I can't believe he bought me Stormy. <laughs> hey. Well, you're 
you guys look okay. But so do you. Oh, well, thank you. Mm, but the tie has to go. What? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Everything. Hmm, let's see here. You ready? Go on. Dad, um, are you sure this is a good idea? Look, I've taken you to Blake and Lydia's Easter Bonnet party since before you could crawl. Have you seen my car keys? We can't avoid them forever. Besides, uh, it's been a while since I've taken my girls to a dance. Have you seen my...
feel? Have a good ride in the uh, in the rain. Yeah, you know he's so strong. Strong enough for an endurance race, would you think? Excuse me. Oh, it's just there's uh, an endurance uh, race memorial weekend. I thought. Yeah. Thought you might like to enter. That's all. But of course, if you uh, if you don't want to. No, no, no! I mean yes, I mean no, yes! I want to ride. I want to ride. You yes, sure? Yes, I Thank you, thank you. Watch the branch, Virginia. I rode with Dad for the first time in so long. He borrowed Charlie from Mr. Tucker. Stormy's pulse hit 129, but came right back down after five minutes. He's going to be ready. Personally, yours truly feels like one big knot. Dad got me on what he calls boot camp schedule. Three more weeks until the race. It's weird seeing Dad and Jesse together. I have a premonition about it, but I think it's a good one. You pick a 10 mile stretch in the race, then you make your move. The idea is to burn out the pack around you so that you put enough distance between you and them so they can't catch up. Dust them off. Got it? Got it. Got it. You miss Hunter Jumper. Easy boy. Oh, don't worry, Wendy. He doesn't bite. <laughs> His name's Storm, and he's not afraid of your stupid horse. I don't know. You sure about that? <laughs> what are you dweebs laughing at? Let's see what else he can do. How about a race down to the tracks? Um. Ooh. One o'clock train. Makes things interesting. Some other day, Daryl. What's the matter? You gotta get permission from your mommy? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm daddy.
It rained really hard last night, but it's supposed to clear up for the race, which is tomorrow. Stormy's ready. I think I am too. And somehow, I just know that Mom will be watching. Stormy! He couldn't have gotten out, Dad. Even if I left the door wide open, he would have stayed in until I got him. Don't worry, he can't have gone far. He's around here somewhere. Dad, he was stolen, and you know it. The tire trucks, and you know it. Who would steal a horse in the middle of a storm? Darrow. Darrow? He may be a spoiled brat, but stealing horses is way out of his league. <laughs> Look, I whipped his butt in a race the other day, and he's afraid of me, I'm storming. Look, he doesn't want to lose. Racing? You have no business racing, especially that idiot. Look, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have. I mean... I shouldn't have. I'm gonna get get the word out. Keep looking, talk to the sheriff. Great, then you can drop me off in town. <sighs> Carolyn, I think you should stay with your sister. <sighs> Dad, I've got a hair appointment and I can't cancel. A hair appointment? Yeah, she'll be fine. She's tougher than you think. Come on, let's go. Virginia, I know where Stormy is. What? Uh, Darren is two dweebs did steal. Well, well, how do you know? I told dweeb number one, Joel, that I've always had a massive crush on him. Uh huh. Uh, he's so pathetic. He spilled everything. My God, the race! It, it starts at noon. That, that's 45 minutes. Where's Dad? Uh, he dropped me off in Split. I think he's still looking. 
Oh, geez. Where? Where is Stormy? Don't do anything stupid. I won't. Promise me. Caroline! Uh, the shack at Lamper Creek. Virginia. Mount up. white flags indicating turnoffs and paths. There will be two vet checks where your horse's pulse will be taken and overall fitness to continue will be assessed. As you can see, the route will take you out of town and continue to the Barrens where vet check one will be. After leaving the first vet check, you will be looping around the countryside, doubling back over the Barrens and the route to the finish. You may consult your maps if you are unclear at any time. And I should like to point out that this year we have a magnificent new trophy, generously donated by Blake Reigns. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I hate to say this, but I think the horse has been stolen. It was. Darrow stole it. I got one of his friends to tell me it wasn't. I called Virginia, and then I've been looking all over for you, and then I called Virginia back, and she wasn't home. Slow down. Slow down. Did Virginia say where she was going? No. I just told her not to do anything stupid. Told me and then, and then I 
drove the spare truck. You what? You said it was for emergencies. You know, All I right, okay, you spare me the gory details. Morning, Fork. Sorry, a couple miles out of town, taking up a lane. Thanks, Sam. No problem. Kind of like to see Ranger's kid get his butt kicked. I'm tired of him and his old man thinking they run the county. Hello. We got another one. Hunting. Let's get the show on the road. But right. They were not present at the briefing, and I do not have their names on the morning sign-up sheet. What are you talking about? They're already registered. They're just a few minutes late, that's all. Sorry, I can't permit it. Come on, let her ride. Yeah, let her ride, Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Let Virginia ride. Yeah. Let Virginia yeah. ride. Let Virginia 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 ride. Right on. I have no choice, Blake. There was no recourse. It was a mob run amok. Crane, you're a coward. Right. Ah, uh, what the hell? She's so far behind anyway. You know the routine. Let's go to work. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, sir! Good job. Come on, Crane, let's go. Move! Check it here. Here you go. Come on, come on. Check it, check it, check it. Come on. Yes, yes. Come on. You have plenty of horse left. Ride him into the ground if you have to. 
132, rather fast. He'll need at least 10 minutes. Five minutes. Five, five minutes. Perfect. Right, right. Uh. <laughs> Costello and Reigns. Hey, Gary. Hey, Ford. Dad. What you got? 94. He's going to need around eight minutes. Eight minutes? But you need how long? You got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Relax. Back. Close enough. Should have kept that damn horse. I don't lose races, son. Hunting gun. Hunting gun. Get over here. Pushing him pretty hard, Darrow. I can take care of this horse, Miss Eastwood. I get it. No problem. Not, not, not necessary. I can handle it. I'm quite familiar with this horse. 135. we we'll need about 12 minutes. 12 minutes? What the hell are you talking about? He's overheated and his pulse is racing. Twelve minutes rest and we'll check it again. God, you idiot. Excuse me? Damn it. Uh, uh, Jesse, I apologize for my, my boy. Uh, he's a real hothead. Probably uh, spoil him too much. But you know, twelve minutes seems a lot. The horse needs it, Mr. Reigns. Miss Eastwood, have you been happy working at the ranch? Yes. Good. Because I've been happy with you. And when I see someone doing a good job, I make it a point to reward him or her. So what exactly are you saying, Mr. Ray? I think you should recheck the horse. No, the specs are correct. And you could let go of my arm now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you okay? Did, yeah, I'm did you fall? Little, I had a little help. Stupid <laughs> force. But I'm fine. by a secondary source. Oh. Verified by who, is old man? And, 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 and after a, a, ju a judicial review, uh, the official winner is, uh, is Darrow Rain. <laughs> That's my boy! <laughs> qualifies violation? I've been thinking. I've been thinking. Come on, spit it out. <laughs> I'm thinking we should paint the front of the house. Yeah, right. Like we paint the house and you watch. <laughs> well, that's you. <laughs> you never do anything when you watch. Oh, what about <laughs> we always do. We all do it together. And, uh huh. Uh, you, know, you were so totally grounded. Oh. <laughs> it was the happiest I've seen Dad in such a long time. He said that Jessie would have to spend the night in my room because Blake fired her and kicked her out of the guest house. She didn't seem very upset. <laughs> Caroline is out of her Darrow phase and her nose looks almost perfect again. I think Mom would be smiling and laughing right now, too. I got through the race because of her and Stormy and wanted to find a really good way to thank them. I'm going to give Stormy a week off, which I think he'll really like, but I didn't know what I could do for my mom. After a while, though, I sort of figured something out. I realized that I can't do anything for her like I can do for Stormy. I can never bring her back, but I can always keep her in my heart, like my dad said, and that way she'll never be far away. She'll know when I goof up, and she'll know when I do something good. And that's okay. <laughs> 